Welcome, everyone, to the general gaming channel known as M12 Warthog Game. <clears throat> hey guys, M12 Warthog Gaming here. I'm back with another video of Banished, and if stuff seems like it's a bit echoey, there's a reason for that. I'm actually recording this in a different room, not my bedroom, it was too hot over there. Plus, I tried to record, um, some stream, Dream Commander 2, next part of the, um, strategy guide, but I wouldn't export the file properly from my recording software, I don't know why. So it couldn't be opened in any of my video editing software, so I'm just gonna record this instead. I wouldn't really mind recording any either one at the time right now. Okay, so we have two bean, two wheat, two pumpkin. Okay. And I know to use, and I've been playing in a different um game. Um, um like an offline game that I don't play when I'm recording. That um that I've learned a thing or two about getting uh, more houses and whatnot. So I'm gonna start that out by showing you guys. But I mean, okay, I want a three-story for this one. I'm going to rotate it. I'm gonna keep building it this way. And then they're gonna keep building them constantly that way because I actually the, if you think about it the bottom area is the only part that cannot be overlapped the bottom the ground level building area cannot be affected by is the only thing that's affected by it pretty much anything that you do other than that the top area does not have to be overlapping in any way shape or form, so I don't really have to worry about that. I'm actually gonna build some more stuff there, and I could probably take down these old houses, but I don't want to yet. I'm trying to think, what else would I need? I don't really need much of anything at the moment, other than rather getting a better school. Thing. Yeah, getting this would be much better. If I could find a, an actual good place to fit it. Okay, I guess I could start a building for one there. I'm actually gonna resume what I'm doing and increase number of builders. As we have an increased number of jobs for that, because I told them to build more things. We got a trading post. We got some things for trade, so that's quite good, I guess. Our town hall, of course. I'm going to double check our production and see what we're getting. Okay, so we're using more logs. Then we are producing. Um, tools? Okay. Iron, though, is bad and so is stone, but we don't have a permanent area for that. Oh, clothes, too. So just clothes and logs at the moment. Yeah, we have it building. Working with whatever leather the hunters get from hunting certain animals that they produce. So that's a problem. Now I know I only set this one to plant, but now I want to set it to cut. Now that we have a bed of a bigger forest area for things to work with. Now, I'm gonna go over 
here and see what the... And that's leather, so that's a problem. I'm gonna actually... Do we have any livestock at all? Besides from cattle. Wait, we have cattle. I don't see any. Okay. Wanna know what? Just gonna remove the structure. Because apparently we have a teacher working there. And it can teach more students there. So that's actually quite good. So I'm gonna do that instead. Now, I don't need as many workers now. So I'm gonna reduce that down to four. Put two into there. And that seems so far for now. I definitely know I want a bigger pasture. I'm gonna make a pasture now. And if I get any animals, which I think I do have some, to fill the area. I want to make this as big as possible, though. That way we can get a lot of leather to start making more clothes. Okay, so now that we have that, we got a lot of people that are going to be very busy trying to work at this and try and get to clear out everything here. That's going to be a while. And I'm already at max speed. Wow. Okay. So what do I need to do now? Is check up on our production. That's a definite thing that I need to do because we doing so okay, so we're producing more than we're using for logs. That is good. Pools fine, clothing. Okay. Start of the season we're making more than we're using. But it takes a long time to make them, so in the long run, it looks like we're going to make less. We're going to be making... Uh, we're going to be using more than what we're making. So that's going to be um, not so good. But I think I have herbalist. Where are they? Is this a herbalist? Yeah. I have a house for it and everything. And only one out of the two herbalists actually work there. Live in the hut above them. Okay. Hopefully they'll find more this season. Uh, what I'm planning on doing is probably getting more food. Definitely want that. I know fish ponds actually give you more food. So I actually might have one, but have more people to fish. If I have more people to fish, I definitely make more. So I'm not sure at the moment what I want to do. Okay, guys, I'm back. From the looks of it, I have a slight problem with our population, as I do not have enough houses for them. That is no problem. I'm about to fix that. And some of our people, some of our students, got some education, so we don't have that many students now actually going to increase our number of builders. Now, uh, what I am going to do now, is now that I have our resources for it, 
Or the manpower, I should say. I'm gonna make two fishing ponds here. And when I'm done with those, I'm going to go ahead, put as many people as I can in there, and see how that works. The builder job is very elastic in this game. You definitely don't want to have 30 when you only have 6 jobs, and so forth. Okay, so what am I gonna do? Okay. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna increase the number of farmers available. At both of our wheat farms. For the sole purpose of seeing if they can get more wheat. Because I know they don't harvest all of it, but they would obviously harvest all of it if there was, if it was a 13 by 13 instead of a 14 by 14, so. Sheep. Ooh. I could get sheep. They don't want my fish or my wheat or my pumpkin, and that's a problem. Because I was going to use my fish to trade, and I really don't have anything that they would want for trade. Plus, I can still use cattle, as according to the thing, I still have cattle available for use. So, I guess I'm gonna have to, um, get that. Looks like they cleared out the whole area for our, for our pasture. I'm gonna have maybe at least two people working on that. See what happens. Okay, how many people do we have available? We need 12. Okay, so I have 12 workers on fishing. So we're definitely going to get a lot more fish. But it doesn't really matter. As I'm, we already have more than enough food, but I just want to make sure we have more, enough to last us for a while. Okay, so what am I gonna do? Set this to cattle. And a maximum of 60 here. I'm gonna have someone work this field. It's rather large, so maybe have two people working here. And I'm gonna go find my cows. Wherever they are, because it says we have them. And then I'm gonna send them here. Okay, so I found them. We have like... I think five maybe, but then I am um, literally got most of them to, you know, reproduce. So we got some of that stuff here. Um, it's actually quite good, I think, at the moment for what I was trying to do. Uh, modded New Mine, yeah, that's the name of the town. It reminds me of, like, um, some town or city I went to in, um, the game, uh, Borderlands. Okay, they're saying that they don't have enough leather. The cows should start making leather soon, I guess. No, that's only if they slaughter them. They're only one-fourth of the way full. So I guess when we make more cows, we'll definitely have more stuff. Yes, we have one miller. Do we have a baker? We need a baker. No, I don't know why we have a miller then. What does a miller do? Oh, it makes flour, I guess. We could use flour as is and trade that. I don't know. Um, at the moment... I guess, at the moment, I don't really need to do... I really can't progress that much. Unless I get more manpower to, um... To, um, operate anything else, like I was gonna add butchers and whatnot, except from the modded stuff, but, um, that's gonna be a while. So, I don't know at the moment. That's a barber shop, apparently a physician has to run that. 
That's a bit strange. What else can we, um, do? Medieval dentist. Do we have a dentist? No, it would say that I would I need another physician, so no. Well, we have a dentist now. Well, we will soon, because we're going to build that. So, that I think our settlement's coming along greatly. Um, not much is done so far, other than what I plan to do. I plan to, like, get rid of this stuff. And probably use these mountains and stuff down here for, um, our quarries, our mines, and all of that stuff. And then for everything else, um, will probably be expanded down here on this side of the river. And whatnot down here as well. While as this area remains a heavily forested area. With supplies, hunter, gatherer stuff, herbalist and whatnot. I think that's the rare action we're going to have to take. While expanding our farm fields maybe up here a little and up here. But for now, I think we're good on that. We actually don't have a gatherer. I wonder why that is. When the gatherer died, no. If that happened, then it would have um, replaced him. I do not know why. Well, anyway, guys. I think I'm going to have to end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, leave in any comments, questions, or feedback for me. In the comment section down below would be highly appreciated. And I will see you guys later in another video. Bye-bye.